I call on the representative of Algeria to take. Yeah. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for giving me the possibility to exercise my right of reply after the allegations made by my Moroccan colleague following the speech of my minister this morning to you. And I would like to remind us all that since Algeria's independence, in 1962, so 62 years ago, there has not been one General Assembly of the United Nations where my country has not claimed the inalienable right of self-determination of peoples still under colonial rule. And I ask myself the question, a lot of states or delegations have referred to the issue of the Western Sahara from this very forum. Why? The distinguished delegate of Morocco, does he want to single out the um, declaration of my minister from this rostrum? Why would he want to do this? Why would he mention the name of Algeria more than 20 times in 10 minutes? I wonder. This attempt to uh, take a, a subject on the agenda of this General Assembly and uh, act as if it's just the concern of two countries will not uh, work. And I'd like to stress here three points. Firstly, we should reread my Minister's statement on the issue of the Western Sahara. We might, the General Assembly might learn something. And I think my Mor Moroccan colleague might learn something in so doing. And I quote, my country aspires to put an end to the colonization once and for all by turning the final page of this chapter as we unfortunately see in the Western Sahara. The Secretary General of the United Nations and his special envoy may count on our full support in their efforts to enable the two parties to the conflict, Morocco and the Polisarian Front, to resume the process of negotiations in order to arrive at a political solution that will guarantee the Sahrawi people the full exercise of their inalienable rights to self-determination. And to those who want to impose a colonial fait accompli by gaining time, by falsifying facts nobody can argue with, and by attempting by various maneuvers to turn attention away from what is clear and established, we, Algeria, reaffirm that colonization sooner or later will end up disappearing and the legitimate rights of the Sahrawi people will undeniably be recognized. That's the first point. The second point Mr. President, is that the United Nations, through the General Assembly, through the Security Council, 
have indeed begun this process of decolonization by creating MINOSO, the United Nations Mission for the Referendum in Western Sahara. But that work is currently being blocked by the occupying power, which is Morocco, and which uses all kinds of maneuvering to postpone this uh, referendum, including with the uh, rather um, shady project of s supposed autonomy. And if that project was really such a hot deal, why not put that forward for a referendum with the Sahrawis. Are you afraid of the call for freedom of the Sahrawi people? Algeria, for its part, and all those that support the right to self-determination of the people of Western Sahara, call for um, a consultation, a referendum of the Sahrawi people. Thirdly, The political process. Yes, a political process is part of negotiations between the legitimate representatives of the Sahrawi people and the occupying power, Morocco. And if they reach a political agreement under the inalienable right of self-determination, Algeria would be very happy about that. Mr. President, I don't want to prolong this session, but I would like to recall that the right of the people of Western Sahara to self-determination is uh, solidly anchored in international law and resolutions of the uh, General Assembly and the Security Council. And my country, Algeria, based on our his history and values and our fundamental principles, will never fail to stand alongside oppressed peoples, peoples under colonial occupation which is the case of the people of Western Sahara. And it, it is with that determination that will never change and this deep-seated conviction that we, for our part, will continue with our unfailing support for the people of Western Sahara so that they are able to fully access their inalienable right to self-determination. I thank you.